Well, I'm joined now by a Greek uh, member of the European Parliament, uh, Miltiadis Kirkos, who's vice chair of the European Parliament's joint committee with Turkey. And no doubt you're watching uh, the positioning that Turkey is taking over the migrant crisis and the quid pro quo, the, uh, the deal they want in exchange. You're no doubt watching it with great interest. Yes, it's true that we watch the negotiations going for months and we hope that uh, this summit will produce the results that uh, Europe needs. And of course, all these results will happen with the cooperation with Turkey. So we are uh, optimists at this point that uh, Turkey will accept the return of uh, any third country a person that uh, is not a refugee, that cannot be uh, accepted in Europe as a refugee, is not coming from war zones, mm -hmm. so they will accept them and return them to their own safe countries. That's what we hope will happen out of this summit. Now, if we have to support Turkey, to support the Syrian refugees living in Turkey, because there are three millions of them over there, if we have to support them to have a better life, a quality of life that is uh, not allowed to them in their own country, I would say that Europe should do it um, without any restraints. We have only to gain from that. The, uh, it appears that for Turkey to play their role, they want in exchange uh, another 3 billion euros at least and a freeing up of visas and so on. Well, I, Greece is also bearing uh, a heavy responsibility and a heavy burden in taking in or, or seeing huge numbers of refugees coming through your territory. Uh, do the Greek government and the Greek people also expect some help from Europe? The help we already have and the help that uh, is due to us is something that is given by the European Union if we discuss about uh, money and uh, other provisions needed for the refugees. What we really need from Europe is to support the relocation mechanism uh, because all refugees coming and getting registered in Greece should be moved, hosted from with all the European countries, each one depending on the population and the GDP and the needs and the what they can offer, but all these refugees must be accepted in Europe as a whole. This is what we want to see from Greece. We have seen the support of uh, governments, we have seen the support of citizens in big numbers in our islands during the whole year, not only during the summer, but now we have to see also each and every state supporting the relocation mechanism. Um, because we, we, we do not have the luxury as uh, the Conservative government of uh, England, of the UK, had two years ago to say, we don't want to, to, do, um, to go and save these people because it acts like a magnet. We want just to wait in our shores and see them coming. We have not that luxury because the distance from Turkey is one, two, three miles. So they drown in front of us every day. So we just have to save them. What we do? with them afterwards depends on the solidarity that Europe is showing and I hope that behind all the discussions and all the easy words that sometimes come out of electoral needs of some parties, in the base, in the core of the European citizen, we see and we have seen from the um, initiatives of governments, local governments, people, municipalities that already demand, ask for refugees. We've seen Catalonia, in France, in Portugal, in Germany, in, in Austria, even in Austria we see villages asking for refugees. Well, let's so hope the current, we uh, that let's hope the current uh, summit in Brussels comes to some conclusion that will satisfy all the nations, including Greece. Mr. Kierkos, thank you very much.